Okay, so hi guys, it's Miss Lollipop and welcome back to another episode of BitLife Controls My Sims. Okay, so just as a side note for you guys, I wanted to go ahead and let you know at the start of this episode. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am actually going to be streaming tomorrow, uh, which is going to be Sunday at 11am GMT time. Um, so obviously that's British time, but obviously, or it's BST, I think it's British summer time right now because we're in summer. So either way, go ahead and convert that time to you guys, you know, time schedule so you know what time it's going to be. Or go ahead and check on my channel and there'll be the live section and you guys will be able to see how long it will be for you. Um, and if you can, go ahead and join my live stream tomorrow. We're going to be playing, obviously, our Rags to Riches series. But also, I've got a few things to talk about on the channel. Some quite important things about new series that are going on. And the way that I intend for the channel to go um, further in, like, progression. And I wanted to do it in a stream instead of a video. And then, obviously, the stream will be uploaded on my channel. So if you can't make it at that time, it's absolutely fine. But make sure you go ahead and watch the stream, um, you know, back over afterwards. So then that way you'll get a chance to uh, watch it later on and actually find out what's going on. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. So today we are back and uh, Lillian is currently 43 years old. Uh, we did go ahead and actually adopt um, Amit or Ahmet. I don't, I don't know how you say his name. Um, I did give everybody a bit of a makeover in the last episode. That um, uh, Sorry, before this episode. Um, so you guys wouldn't have seen their makeover. So I'll go ahead and show you them just now. So this is Ahmet just here. He's really cute looking. Um, I gave Ease a call, whatever he's, we, e e e Z. what did you guys say that we should call him? Keel? Well, I can't remember what you guys said that we should call him as like a nickname. But either way, um, I changed his hair and things so he is, you know, much more suiting and also gave Kiara a makeover. She is absolutely stunning, must I say. So this is what she looks like. Um, and she's looking really, really cute with some long um, ombre hair that she's got going on. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really happy with how all the um, sons and the daughters all turned out. So for this episode, I really want to speed through some of the years because obviously I did tell you guys that I want to start wrapping up a few of my series because I've got a new series, um, a few new series I want to start. Um, and I don't really want to start the new series until these ones are kind of done and finished and I've got a little bit more time to, you know, plan everything else. So I want to go through everything quite fast in this episode. So I hope you guys don't mind. It's going to be a little bit busier than usual. So um, let's go ahead and just, um, you know, go straight in and let's just age up one more year. So um, my daughter Betsy has been promoted to policy analyst. My daughter Kiara began studying at university. I have been given a raise, which means that I can now get a promotion. Amazing. Um... My son, Isakul, has started high school. So that means we can actually go ahead and age him up to a teenager. So we'll go ahead and do um, MC command, set age. He is going to be a teenager. There we go. I probably should have given him a cake, but you know what? We're, we're speeding right through this. So um, Isakul, Isakul, I never know his name. <laughs> okay, so he's just turned 15. Um, his smarts are good, his looks are good, and his health is, is good as well. So right now he's a genius, but we should also give him something for his looks, I suppose. So can we make him a bit of like a heartbreaker? I, uh, I think that would be quite good to do. Maybe alluring will be quite good. Um, and then let's go ahead and make him um, a serial romantic so that he'll play the field and meet loads of people. I so, oh my, oh my god, what is this? What is this mutant animal? Oh no, what's going on? No, guys! <laughs> no, what's going on? This is everything is wrong. No! <laughs> Look at his eyeballs, they keep bobbing through his head. <laughs> oh my god, I can't, I can't. Do I need to reset him? It's not fixing it. Oh god, what's wrong with him? <laughs> his arms! He's so broken. He's so broken. <laughs> <laughs> guys what's going on oh my god okay let's take him create uh, let's take him into creative sim if we can fix it because 
right now something's something's broken. I don't know what it is. I don't know if he's got like a ki child skin on, or maybe that's why it's doing it. Oh, oh like it literally looks boy. so much different in Creator Sim. <gasps> he's actually really cute though, isn't he? Like for a for you know considering all of our other kids as well, he's he's looking pretty cute. I'm happy with him. Okay, that's pretty cute. Um. Okay, there we go. So I went ahead and gave him a quick little makeover, and this is what he looks like. He's looking really, really cute so far. I'm really happy with how he turns out. I was considering debating giving him a little bit of facial hair, because I think he does look really nice, but I think that makes him look way too much like a man, and obviously he is still supposed to be a teenager, so I think we're going to leave him with a bare face, and then obviously when he ages up to a young adult, he can actually get some stubble. But he's looking really, really cute, and I'm happy with how he looks. Um, so that is done. Okay, so now that we are out of Creator Sim, and of course, Isaac, or whatever his name is, is now a, um, he's now a, you know, a, a teenager like he's supposed to be. Um, I think we can go ahead and age up a few more years, because as, as I said, I want to skip through as quickly as possible. So we'll go on one more year. And Diego and I have been married for 20 years, which is really, really good for them. So congratulations. We'll go again. Uh, my daughter Bessie has been promoted to marine biologist. My adopted son Ahmet has started elementary school. So everything is going good there. So next up is Ahmet's birthday. So we should probably get him a quick little cake baked. So let's have Lillian go and quickly bake a little cake up. Um, so I don't want to like breeze through this too quickly where you guys feel like, you know, like it, everything was skipped, but I do want to move through the episodes fast enough where, you know, like maybe we've only got two or three episodes left of this series so that we could speed through her life a little bit, just because I'm really excited to start a few new series on the channel. And I feel like this series has been going on for a little bit too long considering it's supposed to be a mini series and it's nearly already 10 episodes. So that's kind of crazy. <laughs> Okay, so what is Kiara doing? I think everybody's in a bit of a bad mood right now. Um, which is actually kind of surprising because it's like a really nice day outside, but you know. Um, let's go and take a bubble bath really quick and we'll go and grab a little bit of leftovers. And has, um, has Lillian got work today? She has not got work today. What about Diego? He's got work in 24 hours, so not today. He actually needs to work on his charisma and his logic skill. So what should we have him do? Let's have him go up into a mirror and we're actually going to go have him go and practice his speech to work on his charisma skill. And then I think Lillian is finished with the cake. Amazing. So we'll go ahead and pop some candles on it. There we go. Let's pop some candles on it. And then we can go ahead and help age up Armet. There we go. And he's going to be aging up to a child. So we're now 46. So I want to get her to maybe... I know it's going to sound crazy, but maybe even 60, like age 60 in this episode. If she makes it to 60, if she gets some sort of medical complications, she might not even make it to that far. And if she doesn't make it to that far, I'm probably going to like, you know, um, <laughs> uh, as soon as Lillian is finished or like as soon as Lillian dies, the episode, uh, the series will probably end because the series is supposed to be themed around Lillian. That was like the person in bit life that we've controlled. So, um, right. We need to find out about Ahmet a little bit. So he's now six. His health is still really low. His looks are okay and his smarts are still like there. They're still he's still pretty smart to be honest. He's still doing okay. Um I was thinking um these things are very inspired but get lost in their own thoughts. Maybe he could be a daydreamer. That would be quite a good one. Um and I think we'll make him maybe quite creatively developed. There we go. I think he's that's a good idea. Dead. And Misty sent him a little gift as well. So here is what Armit looked like. He it looks like he's pretty cute here. There we go. Okay, right, I think we should speed on through and do a few more years, don't you think? Okay, we're gonna do to 47. Okay, your son Isaacal, or Isaacal, we don't know his name, okay? We've just gone over that fact. Okay, so your son is asking you to pay for his college education. He wants to major in engineering. And I think we can go ahead and actually pay for his uh, tuition because it only costs 64,000 and we have 230,000, so I don't see why not. So we'll go ahead and pay for that. And he was really excited about that. Um, other than that, everybody's been doing really, really well. Um, I've been given a raise again, so I suppose we can go ahead and actually get her promoted again so that she gets a little bit more money. There we go. Um, um wait. Oh, okay. My daughter, Betty, married Mamet Aiden, a 33-year-old police officer. She changed her name to Betty Cox. 
So she kept her last name. She and her husband, uh, Mamet, had a baby girl named Kubra Adin. Adin. Okay, so the daughter took... Okay, okay. This is cool. Right, let's head into um, Manage Worlds. And we'll go ahead and grab Betty. And make her husband. And also... Um, go ahead and make her little child as well. She needs to get pregnant. Okay, so this is Betty just here. Um, she has actually got like really, really bright hair. I was considering changing her hair since she's a little bit older now. Um, I was considering changing it a little bit. So maybe we could go for a slightly shorter hairstyle. I'm not sure if we should still keep the bright hair. I feel like that's just something about her. But I was considering make giving her like an ombre. So giving her... Um, a dark colour with something on the bottom. Actually, she looks really good with this hair. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and give her this like purplish colour with the thing on the side. Yeah, she actually looks so good with this hair. Okay, we'll go ahead and give her that. So, we need to go ahead and grab her, her husband. And his name is Mamet Aydin. Which I'm assuming he's going to be Turkish. Um, I'm assuming he's going to be Turkish. So, we'll see. Because obviously, currently they are living in Turkey. She hasn't like moved away, so it kind of makes sense that she would, you know, uh, marry a Turkish guy. So we're actually going to go on Claire Siobhan Townies to find these because I feel like there's so many Townies that people always list on here. It's always easy to find somebody who's cute on here. And this guy's actually pretty cute, isn't he? This could be her husband. His current name is Theo. He's made by Mila Luter um, Mila Lutery. I think I, I think I got it right. Let me go ahead and actually download him. I think he's a teenager, but we can age him up. He's pretty good. Yeah, okay, we'll take him. So he needs to be a young adult. And then we'll go ahead and give him maybe Charming or something. So this is her husband here. We need to obviously change his name. Okay, Mehmet Aiden it is. This is her lovely husband. So obviously these guys are now husband and wife. Amazing for them. And then we can go ahead and actually get her pregnant with her first baby girl. So let's go ahead and quickly grab them a house. Right, okay, so we are in the household with Mamet and his beautiful wife, Beth, uh, Betty. So I need to go ahead and actually have them doing uh, a little bit of, you know, a little bit of cuteness here. So let's go and give her a quick rose and then we will go and actually go and try for a baby with her and we'll see how this goes. So um, this is the house that I moved them into. It's quite basic, but I feel like it's good. You know, it's just a cute little house in Turkey. Obviously, uh, we are in Turkey, right? I swear, yeah, we're in Turkey. Um, I think it's pretty good, you know, considering where they are. I think I think it works. Was it Turkey? That we... Here's when I'm sitting here saying, yeah, it's Turkey that we moved them into, but I don't even know if we are living in Turkey right now. What is that? What, where is that? Yeah, okay, we are in Turkey. We're in Izmir, Turkey. Okay. Right, can we go inside and do this baby thing? Because I actually need to get her pregnant and make her have a baby now. Come on. Betty needs to give birth. Let's go. Okay, here we go. So she's going to go on the toilet to make sure that she's pregnant. Oh my gosh, she's suffering some really bad acting right now. But you know what, girl? Same. So don't even worry about it. <laughs> and she is eating for two. Amazing. Right, let me go and make sure that she is... Definitely pregnant with a little baby girl. And currently, she was actually pregnant with twins. But unfortunately, she's not having twins. She is only having one baby girl. That is it. Oops. Okay. Offspring one, zero. There we go. She's pregnant with one baby girl. So we'll go ahead and just pop her in labor really quick. Because she is supposed to be having a baby. Or already have had her baby. So where should we stick the baby's room? I think we should be here. This is quite a good room to go. Um, it's already decorated for a little girl. So that kind of works. Um, we'll get rid of that. Oops, not that. Right, okay, so we'll grab this white one and we'll grab a quick base for it. Just a little pink one will do. Okay, there we go. So she is currently in labor. So let's go and um, have a baby. Um, we should be able to click on her. I don't want her to, yeah, have baby. There we go. So she just goes over into the corner. Right, she is going on off to go and have a baby over here. Here we go. Betty is having a baby. Oh my God, so cool. Here she goes. Here she goes. Oh, her mum's coming over. Even her mum's coming to watch. Somebody invite the mum in. Come on. Somebody invite um, Lillian in. Lillian needs to be here when, when her granddaughter's born. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, what was her little baby called? Her name was called Kubra. And she also took her her dad's last name as a Din. Like that. 
that was it. Okay, perfect. Amazing. So she has her own little baby girl. Here she is. Look how cute she is. Oh my god, she's the sweetest. So she's got a little baby girl here. Right, let's go ahead and give her a quick bottle feed and obviously look after her a little bit. And then we're going to head back into Lillian's household. But we're going to go ahead and quickly age up one more year. And my daughter Kiara graduated from university with an undergraduate degree. She started a new position as receptionist for Spring Sims. She moved out. Oh, okay. So um, Kiara is actually going to move out. And my son Isakul began studying engineering at university because we did pay for his tuition for him. So, um, okay, the welcome wagon actually turned up, so I'm just going to go ahead and cancel that. Right, let's head back into the household and get people moved out, um, and we'll go from there. Okay, there we go. So, our daughter, Kiara, goes ahead and gets a job as a receptionist. So, let's go quickly find her a job. So, wait, how old is Kiara? Is she now an adult? Kiara is 23 years old. So, yes, yeah, she's actually going to age up from a teenager into a, um, into a young adult. So, let's go... Uh, grab the cake. Oh, okay, great. Somebody already took a bite out of it. Is there any cakes that are... No. Okay, we've got to go make another cake. Okay, um, let's have Diego go and bake up a cake really quick. Um, let's go and do a quick chocolate cake so we can get Kiara aged up into a young adult and get our little girl moved out. What is going on? I'm, I'm, I'm literally talking about this little girl. She is in the closet crying. I am so sorry, honey. What, what is she crying about? She's crying that she didn't get to go out for New Year's Eve. And so is he. Kids, what, are, what is wrong with you? Are you joking? Okay, right. Bring Lily in here. She was, um, she was at the birth of her granddaughter. So we'll have her come back. And um, yeah, she can, she can play around a little bit. You know, she can do as she wants. Um, she needs to improve her photography skill a little bit for her job. Let's actually come over here and talk to Izuku, see if we can try and cheer him up as well. And then Diego should be finished with this cake in just one second. I actually want to go ahead and age up one more year, since obviously we can go ahead and age Kiara up and get her moved out in the background. Here we go. So we will go ahead and add some birthday candles. And then Kiara is going to come over and make a wish and turn into a young adult. Are you excited, Kiara? Let's go. Let's go get you aged up to a young adult. Okay, and then in the meantime, I want to go ahead and make sure I spend time with everybody. There we go. We spent time with seven people. Kiara, let's go and give her a quick compliment as well. We told her she's dope. She better love that. Let's go and compliment our mum as well. Mum told us that we're one of a kind. Oh, I love mum. Mum's so cute, honestly. Okay, right, come over here and let's have Kiara age up into a young adult. Here she goes. Oh, okay, she didn't manage to blow it out the first time. Let's go again. And there she goes. Perfect. So she's currently alluring and a genius. Um, so Kiara, let's click on her. What type of personality has she got? Her health is quite low, though. So I'm considering giving her something. Is there something where she, like, gets sick quite often? Is that, is that something that we can do? Okay, I can't find anything like that, but I'm going to go ahead and give her the kindness ambassador since, um, you know, I feel like she'd be quite kind. So we'll go ahead and give her that. And then she can go ahead and get moved out. And we will also age up one more year. And oh my God, my mum died. She died at the age of 89. She died while sleeping peacefully, which is a really, really nice way to go. Um, she, we can't attend the funeral because we were in the United States and we are living in Turkey, which is really sad, but we did manage to get 50,000 inheritance, which is not that much, but obviously it's a bit of a shame that we didn't get to go to our mom's funeral. Um, and now our happiness is really, really sad. Wow. Okay. Well, that's not good. That is not, not good at all. Okay. Um, let's go and see if we can do a little bit of fun stuff, like go to the movies Let's go and watch a comedy really quick. And our enjoyment was really good. Maybe I want her to go to the spa. I want her to go and meditate a little bit. Go and do that. Can we go to the spa? Maybe she'll feel better if we give her a little bit of plastic surgery or something. <laughs> um, okay, let's have a look. So we can... Um, she can go clubbing, get plastic surgery or spa and salon. Okay, let's do this. Let's go work on your tan. We'll go and go... Um, we'll get a spray tan actually. Okay, there we go. She got a spray tan. She's feeling a little bit happier after she got a spray tan. You know, everyone's feeling a little bit happier when they're a little bit a little bit more tanned, you know, when you're glowing. And we'll go ahead and get our nails done. 
We'll get the manicure and pedicure because we, you know, we've got shit tons of money, so we can just basically do what we want. And then let's see if we can go night clubbing. I mean, my fifty-year-old woman is gonna go night clubbing. You know what, girl? You hit it up at the Radiance. She hated it. She hated it. While at the club, a stranger offers you some opium. Um, I don't talk to strangers. I don't think she's out for opium. I mean. I mean, we don't know what she's up to, because last time she went to the club, she killed somebody. So, let's go to another one. We'll go to the Aperture. Again, she didn't like it. Does she not like any of this? Another club has started arguing with you because you knocked him over while dancing wildly. I think we know exactly what, you know, what not to do in this situation, which is argue back. So, we're just going to walk away. And we walked away from the situation. Okay, well, that's good, because at least we're not killing anybody this time, you know? <laughs> so, we're already doing better than last time. Okay, let's go. Um, let's go and get a massage. We'll go and get a Thai massage. There we go. See how happiness is going up. We're just spending loads of money. And then, um, ooh. Let's go get some plastic surgery. Maybe she should have a, uh, either, do you think she have a tummy tuck? She's had quite a lot of kids. Maybe a tummy tuck will be quite good for her. Let's go, um, okay, so Dr. Nisa. Dr. Nisa costs 4,300. And then um, Dr. Adnan costs 5,000. So we're actually going to go with Dr. Adnan and go ahead and get the surgery. And the, t the tummy tuck was successful. The results were like quite minimal, I suppose, because she's quite like small anyway. So that's quite good. I maybe she's feeling a bit better about herself. And then maybe we'll go ahead and uh, get her a quick breast augmentation. You know, lift up them, lift up them tartars a little bit. Um, okay, let's see. Dr. Nisa is offering it for 3,000. And Dr. Adnan is offering 4,000. So let's go for Dr. Adnan again. And the results are really successful. So right now, she's like 50% happy. You know, she's feeling good. Her tartars are in the air. Her tummy tuck is all, you know, is great. She's feeling fly. So overall, she's she's really good, actually. Um, So Kiara's got to move out. We've got to go kill mum. So let's go and get that sorted out now. Okay, there we go. So, um, right, I realise our mum is actually already dead. Um, I because I aged her up to an elder, I think she automatically just died. So, oh wait, she didn't. No, okay, okay, that's fine. We can go ahead and kill her off. That's great. Right, sim commands. We want to uh, maintain sim. We want to kill her, and she dies by old age. It's piecing, uh, sleepfully, peacefully sleeping. Peace. What did I just say? I don't even know. Okay, kill Misty Cobbledick. She is now. She's now gone out, unfortunately. Okay, she's she's dead. Um, so yeah, mum mum's gone. So Kiara is just moving out. She is, I think she just left as well. So that is good. So we've only got um, we've only got the two boys. We've got Isakul and we've got Amit who are currently living with us. So I'm sure the house feels a lot more lonely without the rest of them. But let's go ahead and talk to everybody a little bit and you know converse with them. And what else was going on that I missed? Ah, oh, so she has a tummy tuck and she also has a breast augmentation. So let's take her into Create a Sim. Let's go and play around with the Chartas, play around with the stomach a little bit. <laughs> okay, so right now her physique is actually really good already. You know, like she's already looking pretty good. So she ends up having a breast augmentation. So let's go ahead and um, give her bigger boobs, I'd say. There we go. A little bit of, oh, that's a bit too much. There we go. Okay, bigger boobs. And she has a breast, uh, she, no, she, she has like a tummy tuck. So I'm going to go ahead and squeeze her size in a little bit more. And then go ahead and grab her from the side and pinch this in a little bit. There we go. Okay, so her physique's changed a little bit. She's a little bit more curvier, slightly. I don't, none of her outfits really show it. She was already looking really good anyways. So she was looking great. I actually want to get rid of this outfit. I always see her in this outfit and I'm so bored of it. So I'm actually going to delete it so we can finally see some new outfits. But she's looking really, really nice. So I'm happy with I'm happy with her new, you know, physique that she's got going on. Oh, and I also gave her a little bit of like, uh, like what do they call those bits around your nose? Um, those creases to make her look a little bit older because obviously she is now like 50. So she's coming up to being an elder in the next 10 years. So I was trying to make her gradually look older. So I think I've done pretty okay. So let's go ahead and age up one more year. And my son at Isakul moved out and I also got given a raise, which is amazing. We're feeling a little bit happy now. Our looks are not so great. I might actually go and get a little bit more plastic surgery. 
considering getting maybe a little bit of Botox. Let's go to Mr. Adnan. He can go and hit us up with a little bit of Botox. And it was successful. So our looks are back up to nearly 100% again, which is really good. And then our son, Isakul, actually is about to move out. Um, how old is Isakul now? He is 21. So he's also going to be aging up to a year old. Old. And I'm sorry, uh, is the cake been eaten yet? Can, you, can we recycle the cake? Oh, I can. Okay, amazing. Right, let's have him go apply some birthday candles to that and get him aged up. Amazing. There we go. And then he can go ahead and make a wish. Here we go. He's actually really good looking though, isn't he? Like, I think I think he's a I think he's a really, really good looking like sim that we've got. There we go. So he is now aged up, and his last one that we should give him can be uh self-assured. Self-assured is good. There we go, and he is now a young adult. Perfect. So let's go ahead and actually get him moved out. Oh my god, the household has now only got one of our kids in it. How old is um, Ahmet? Ahmet's only 10 years old. Wow, okay. So we've got we've got a little while of Ahmet living with us. At least the next maybe 10 years or so. So that's quite cool. We're, we're always going to have a little baby Ahmet with us for a little while. Oh, yeah, because yeah, that, that makes sense. Okay, because I was like, yeah, he's a cool as 21. Okay, so let's go ahead and get him moved out. Oh my god, I can't believe it's just the three of us now. The household was so huge with obviously like the fact that we had five kids. One of our adopted son and obviously the rest was like, you know, our daughters and our, you know, biological son. So I can't believe that we've had such a big household. But at least our relationship is feeling a lot better. I might have a go to the movies to go see a comedy. She's always a big fan of those comedy movies. And we're back up to 100% happiness now. So I think she's feeling a little bit happier. She's all good. Um, I think we need to go ahead and actually give our give our son a quick hug goodbye. So, so. Um, oh, okay, I think she already said goodbye. I think she just waved to him. She was like, bye. <laughs> Thanks for moving out. Okay, she disappeared. Love that. Okay, let's go a few more years. So we're currently 50 years old. And oh, we got a raise, didn't we? Let me make sure I go ahead and actually give her a quick promotion. Okay, one more year. My daughter Betty and her husband Mamet had another baby boy called Bilal. B Bilal. Okay, looks like we're going back into the other house um, to go and have a baby. But in the meantime, I'm going to age up three more years in a row. So I'm going to, no, four more years in a row. And then I'm just going to like play catch up in the game, if that makes sense. So we're just going to like play on bit life for a second. So um, let me just like, you know, get sorted. So age 51, right, we're going to turn to 52. My son graduated from university and started work. And my granddaughter started in elementary school, so she's aging up to a child. 53. Um, my car has a broken ignition coil. I'll just go ahead and repair it because I've got a Porsche, obviously. Um, okay, that was the only thing that happened. 54. My adopted son, Mamet, started high school, so he changes into a teenager. And when I turned to 55, Diego and I had been married for 30 years, and I went to visit my girl, Nows, at the women's prison. Huh? We've got a friend at the women's prison. Okay, well, if that's, if that's, the, way you, if that's the way it is, you know, that's the way it is. So... Let's go ahead and grab these guys. There we go. Okay, so first of all, we need to go ahead and actually get um, Betty pregnant with a baby boy. So let's go and quickly try for a baby. And then little baby um, Kubra over here is actually going to be aging up straight into a child. So from a baby to a toddler and then quickly to a child. Um, and then her son, um, Bilal, is actually going to be aging up into a, um, into a toddler as well. So let's go get our girl pregnant. Literally, we were just here getting her pregnant a second ago. But let's just pretend, you know, it's been a few years. You know, it's been about four or five years since then. Um, so just going to go and quickly take a pregnancy test, make sure she's pregnant. For the second time, well, I'm sure she's kind of done with this, you know. <laughs> okay, so Bessie's about to go take a pregnancy test. And we actually need to come and feed little baby. Um, I, can't, I keep forgetting her name. Kubra. Okay, let's go ahead and feed her. 
And then Betty is just seeing if she's pregnant. She's not actually pregnant just yet. Okay, there we go. So Betty is currently in labor. She needs to go ahead and give birth to a little baby. Um, but in the meantime, we're gonna quickly go ahead and age up little baby Kubra over here. Um, she needs to age up to a toddler so that the bedroom's free to go ahead and give birth to another baby. So let's go and quickly age this little girl up. There we go. Little baby Kubra has aged up. So Kubra, she is really good looking, but a smart are not so great so um let's go ahead and give her the um charmer trait while she's younger so she is currently a um toddler but she's gonna age up to a child so we'll go ahead and like quickly force her to age up automatically so set age she will be a child and then since she's a child um and it looks really good but her smarts are not so great um let's go and give her um okay let's go and give her maybe the popular trait because i feel like she would be quite popular and then we'll give her the social uh yeah the social butterfly i think that's quite good there we go okay so this is her we will go ahead and give her a quick little makeover in a second but in the meantime betty needs to give birth to her second baby um her little baby boy so let's go and get that over and done with there we go and his name is bilal um Bilal, like that, and his last name is Aiden. Perfect. Here we go. Little baby Bilal. Very, very cute. We like. Okay, so let's go ahead and wake our daughter up and we can go ahead and give her a makeover. But quickly age up Bilal so that he is a child. So that we can go ahead and um we can go oh sorry, a toddler, so we can go ahead and give him a quick little makeover as well. There we go. And his personality, um, he is really, really good looking. His smarts are not so great as well, so he's quite a lot like her. Um, like by her, I mean his sister. So we'll go ahead and make him a charmer as well. And that is it. Okay, let's go ahead and quickly take him into Create a Sim so I get a chance to show you guys what they look like, and then we can give him a quick makeover. Okay, so he was born with quite a like um, a dark, uh, deep skin tone, but technically he's actually supposed to be quite a bit lighter. He's supposed to be somewhere about there. So we'll go ahead and make him that sort of color. And he has very, very dark hair. I think it's actually black hair. So we'll go ahead and give him, um, we'll go ahead and give him this hair, I think, and we'll give him black hell okay so here is little baby bilal this is what he looks like after a quick little makeover and making him sort of look like the way that he looks in game um i'm gonna quickly actually give him a comp uh, have a conversation with him and maybe give him a quick little gift just for aging up we'll, we'll go ahead and give him um what should we give him let's go and give him a star wars one no let's give him a toy dinosaur for 32 smallions and he really appreciated that which is nice okay so little baby kubra she is a little bit darker than her um, than her uh, brother. So I think that's a good skin tone to give her. Uh, so she also has black eyes as well. So we'll go ahead and give her those. And then she has uh, black hair from the looks of it. So we'll go ahead and give her a cute little black hair. I think this one's quite cute. I, li I like this one. Um, and then we'll go ahead and give her some black eyebrows as well. So, um, she has a little ponytail behind her. Okay, I think she's actually in her sleepwear, which is really annoying. Okay, there we go. Right, this is what she looks like. So, we can go ahead and put a quick little pair of jeans on her. And then a cute little pair of pink shoes. There we go. So, this is what Kubra looks like. And we'll give her a gift as well. We'll go ahead and give her a Nintendo Switch for 400 simoleons. Well, that's what she gets for aging up to a child. So, we'll give it to her as a gift for her birthday. We'll go ahead and give her that. Her appreciation was really low. Wow, Kubra, are you joking, honey? We literally gave her a Nintendo Switch for her birthday, 400 pounds worth of console. And I, like, she was like, oh, thanks, man. That's all right, yeah, thanks, man. <sighs> okay, well, that's just, I kind of, well, I will, I will know not to be buying Kubra any expensive things so she won't, won't appreciate them, you know? Okay, so we are currently 55. Um, I think we're actually going to go ahead and end this episode off here because I feel like we've got through enough of this, you know, like this series um, or this episode specifically. We've aged up through like maybe six or seven years in this episode. So we've gone through 
quite a lot, which I'm pretty impressed with. But I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here. So as always, if you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like on the video. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll get around to them as soon as I can. And if you are new, it'd be awesome if you could subscribe because obviously it helps our little family grow. And if you just want to hit the little notification bell next to the subscribe button, you get notified every single time I upload, which means you'll never miss one of my uploads. And I think that is everything. So as always, I love you all and I'll speak to you in the next episode. Bye guys.